So I thought I'd give you all a little update on the packages <clears throat> and how things are going. I've got some bad news that I'm not happy about. Remember I had eight colonies all along that row and then two of them joined back up with a third to make the mega colony that was that one and they're gone. Gone. So you know this is the risk with buying packages that I, that I tell people is you know most of the time it works but it doesn't always and in my case those bees leaving is $375 out the door. This one here also gone so that makes for an even 500. Now maybe some of them moved into the other hives but not noticeable. Not enough that I would think you know with any reasonable doubt that um, that they're there. Those the single boxes are not packed at all. So I'm looking at five hundred dollars worth of bees that just took off. The other issue I got here on my ten frame setups was this is your call. <laughs> I set them up, you know, lazy man's way. <coughs> and I left a medium on top so the feed can could sit inside. And these bees decided to take advantage of that space and draw natural comb. So do bees prefer drawing natural comb over foundation? This would, in, this would say yes. Now, this hive did not do that. That's swapped out. That's a feeder now, not a medium box. But now I've got to try to salvage any of this if I can, which is new comb. It's extremely fragile, very soft. I'm going to see if I can cut it out, but I don't have much hope. Um, but yeah, got to do yet another cutout on one of my own hives because I left improper bee space. 